What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your rule, of course, the Scarender. And yet again, not an analysis video before going into this battle, but we're going against, of course, Raichu's, or actually Tokyo Raichu's, or Shadow Shoe. And uh, yeah, previous LBA game, sadly, it's not uploaded, and it's because it was on Showdown. I did end up losing that one, sadly, but at the same time, I just really haven't been playing my best now, have I? And um, yeah, we're a bit of a actually sticky situation because we actually need to win games now or we're actually risking of actually getting regulated. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate considering that we actually made finals of course in LVA. So kind of frustrating but at the same time it is what it is. Uh, and I really, really need to beat Shadow Shoe. I really do. And he has to have such a great run really. Doesn't really lose a lot and uh, he's very even. Uh, so yeah, preparing for Ginseng was a real bitch. And he brought pretty much the same the team I thought he would bring outside of his. Uh, he actually has Mega Sableye, which he did decide not to bring, which is great, of course. It's great because that means that maybe we can stand a chance here, just maybe. Um, I'm gonna go over a bit of my team here before actually going into this battle. Uh, I am using actually Specs Thunderous this time, and I know it's weird. Uh, I know, I, I I think so too. But the reason for it is because he has Scolipede, which is naturally faster. Which means that I will really to probably not even get the chance to set up with a Thunderous. And um, I need him to hurt the things that hurts the most uh, as fast as possible. So, Specs was the easier call to make. And um, I do have T-Wave on it anyway, just in case I screw up basically. Because I... I think I only needed two moves on it, like I needed Thunderbolt to hurt everything I saw Raichu and then I had Dark Falls for uh, his uh, Yurashi and stuff like that to hit neutrally on everything else and I think outside of that I had, think I had some kind of um, other special attack move I don't clearly remember I don't use it I believe, but outside of that I had of course Thunder Wave I think it was Hidden Power Ice or something like that Anyway Next mount is Choice Banded Tyranitar, uh, max special defense to be able to deal with Focus Blast from Gengar if we are unsuccessful to, of course, Pursuit Trapping it. Now we do pack the Pursuit and uh, Choice Banded Pursuit just kills Yurashi and uh, Gengar, so having that in mind, I decided Pursuit and Choice Band was a better cause because he has a Politoed, which means that we actually have no need for, or we can't utilize, honestly, um, anything against his Politoed because he, he will win that Weather War. So I can't stay safe, so there's no reason to have Smooth Rock. Uh, then we have Southland and Sandslash, they are pretty much the same thing. Um, Sandslash is Life Orb, Southland is Bandit. And uh, Bandit, Southland actually did, I do believe, 70% on his uh, Sableye. So that's why I brought it, and seeing him not bringing it, yeah, not gonna be that useful, obviously. But Sandslash kinda works, it actually isn't too present out there, which is actually kinda funny. Uh, outside of Manaphy, which of course is a bitch to deal with. Uh, then we have Dewblade. Dewblade is easily here only for one thing, and that is for his Call of Pete. He can't touch me. Uh, he could pack potentially Earthquake. Earthquake is a 4 hit KO uh, on my Dewblade if it is going Jolly, which he kind of has to to outspeed my uh, um, Thunderous. Now he could work around that, but I saw that as very unlikely. And even if it did, it's, that would mean it's a 3 hit KO instead, which is fine. Uh, of course, it also means that we're not, we are, we are possibly 2 hit KO by a possible sword stance. But at the same time, Jarabol is always a guarantee to kill. We do have a 97% chance of OCOing it from a 1 speed with boost, so I'm feeling comfortable here, I really do. And the last one is probably one that I really, really needed to use effectively this game to give a stand a chance. And that is actually God of War. Due to Trance, it actually makes sure that we can steal Raichu's Lightning Rod if it decides to use that. I felt that was extremely likely. So, um, God War's sole purpose is to deal with that. It also Oko's Gengar, it Oko's Mega Sableye, which, say it again, it's not here. <laughs> and we do have Moonblast, Psychic, and Shadow Ball for Yurashi. Uh, Yurashi is 2 hit KO by Shadow Ball. If we steal Lightning Rod, we're actually pretty close to 1 hit KOing it, depending on the set. And yeah, that pretty much is the size of things. Now, looking to his opponent or my opponent's team, I thought that it would be likely that they actually let up with Raichu or even Polito, depending on what he's going to create. So I'm going to start with Thunderous basically to bait him to stay in against me and try to get damage from there. And yeah, with all that said, let's actually get into the game. So, alright, 
I'm, I'm gonna be honest though, like, I really needed this win, and I was not really sure how to deal with uh, Chu whatsoever. And since I didn't see him bringing, of course, his Mega Save Light, I wasn't really sure how to deal with his team, I was not sure how to deal with it. So anyway, he does start with Politoed, I'm just gonna go directly for the Thunderbolt, because the thing is here, I really need to find out if his Raichu is, uh, of course, of a Lightning Rod, which he is, but I really needed to find that out. Raichu does not pose a threat to my team, as long as I have God War kinda healthy, and uh, I'll say I have it kinda health at least right now. So I'm gonna bring in Alicia here, and I'm gonna trade score Lightning Rod, so he can't Volt Switch against me, which I feel is A and O in this kind of situation. He goes with Empower, most likely that is Ice, and that does nothing. I state that again, it does nothing. For being Life Orb, that sure as hell does nothing. Which is great, and all kinds of important, really. Just gonna bring Ryoshi here. Uh, damn, I did not say it right. And I go for this straight up for Psychic, because the thing is, I was hoping he was gonna stay, and obviously he's not. And I do so little damage that I'm pretty sure that's Assault Vest. But I can't risk it, and I sure as hell can go for a Shadow Ball now, can I? So I'm gonna bring Dewblade here, finding out whether it's physical or not, but he's actually gonna switch out directly and go into Gengar, seeing that switch in. And I'm not gonna lie, that was um, that was terrifying. Had I stayed in and gone for a psychic, I would have, it would have lost a Gengar. It's a good call on shoe, but I do have Rex here, of course, which is gonna pursue trap this Gengar. And there's pretty much nothing you can do because I can't leave a possible focus blast, no matter really what happens. The role that he gets for killing me, he needs to have a big, big role to actually get me. I do have a 7% chance of living a possible focus blast if he decides to stay in, so I go for pursuit trap. Feeling safe there that I got him, even if um, he lands his Focus Blast, Pursuit will kill him. But, but, no, not, not this again, god damn it! I'm not even joking, I was so close, yes, yep, yeah, fuck it, fuck this game. This is the third time this happens, where rolls just come out of nowhere, it takes me out. But anyway, you know, I call myself, obviously, I'm not winning the weather war, yay for that. And I gotta bring pretty much my um, sand slash, go for knockoff. Uh, getting as much damage as possible, as long as I'm faster, I can at least force out the Gengar, which is nice. Uh, and knockoff does respect respectable damage there, it actually does respectable, should have been a 50% hit of course without um, crit there. So knowing that he most likely going for Scald or Hydro Pump, I'm better off going for of course Wolf and take this opportunity to not allow speed, but also survive a Hydro Pump which Sanchez cannot. And yes, it does hurt, it does hurt a lot actually. But luckily for me it's not, not too much and to uh, go for a safe crunch basically. In case you want to switch out, try to preserve Politoed. So, Fold gets the kill there, which is awesome. And now he brings, of course, Gengar back. And I'm gonna say this. Bit surprised he had Psychic, and also a bit surprised he went for Psychic, seeing I have a Guard Wall. But I, of course, did not want to take that risk, switching into a Shadow Ball. But yeah, pretty strange. I was thinking, of course, of a Sludge Bomb or anything like that. But then again, I couldn't bring my Dew Blaze. I guess I had a few options to take off, of course, on. So anyway, go Thunderous, just go for Dark Pulse, get the Gengar out of the way. Gengar obviously not a threat anyway. Uh, what is a threat though is um, this guy. Should have Sephiroth theme right now. Neil 2 is of course extremely dangerous. Rockslide is not able to kill us, mind you guys. But at the same time, I can't take a risk on this. I need to keep Thunderous somewhat healthy. And he goes for Sword Sands. And I was like, oh thank god, he's gonna stay next turn. He's gonna stay next turn. We're gonna kill him. We are gonna kill him. We have a 97% chance of killing this guy uh, if he goes for an earthquake. So uh, yeah, pretty much yeah, got to kill. We got to kill. He went for earthquake. That is far from killing us, of course. I go for Jar Ball, and uh, this game hates me. Like this game hates me a, a lot, actually. I'm god damn it. So that thing gets to live, but my Tyranitar does not. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, or ass. Fuck you. <laughs> So anyway, I am forced to go for Shadow Sneak, Shadow Shoe, see of course this is happening, and it goes for Manaphy, and yeah, that's um, that's even more troublesome because he gets that safely in. So I need to bring Keisha, hope for Skull, he goes for Tail Glow, and I was like, yeah, 
Yeah, this is um, this is it. This is it. Uh, he actually goes for a second tail glow. He did tell me that when we misclick, and I kind of get that. I myself went for knockoff. Hell, I didn't think I'm gonna survive it anyway. And we do knock off the Salak Berry. Thank God, because Earthquake would not have killed in that range. And had I activated the Salak Berry, that, my people, that would have been a GG. So we don't have to worry about that. And poor Kaiser is not long for this game. He is not long. But one who is, is of course my R class. So of course the Thunderous, being able to outspeed. So that's why I would be surprised he went for Tail Glows and stuff like that. Consider that um, he actually had a given opportunity to, uh, or there was no reason for him to set up as long as Thunderous outspeed, right? So anyway, he loses his Nelfu here, and I say basically thank God because I can't deal with it. And uh, now he's gonna go to Ishugo. And I still only have one switching for this guy, and that switching is freaking God of War. Elisa is just all kinds of hell with this kind of Raichu, but he is gonna see that one coming. He is sure as hell are gonna see that one coming and switch into his Yurashi. And there is um, there is not a lot that God of War can do, but there is a lot of work that my Dew Blade still can do because I resist his stab. He could have potentially fire punch, I believe, but that's about it. So he goes on Arnett and Dubai is gonna say, um, no, that's um, that's not gonna work. That is truly not gonna work. We can actually take two of those. I'll take this opportunity to go for a sword stance. I don't know why I did that, honestly, because I it's not like I can kill the right shoe from this range anyway. So I would say that that was probably kinda risky, but at the same time, uh, it is as risky as his shadow or his sword stance with his no two. So anyway, go for Shadow Snake because I can kill Mana Feet from that range without a doubt. And um, now I have to deal with, of course, his Raichu again. And my dedicated switch for this is still pretty darn intact. And uh, he is not fearing Raichu. Nobody should be fearing this Raichu. We're gonna trace the Lightning Rod. He'll actually go for the Volt Switch now. Try and give some momentum and that's fine. But the only thing he created was his own doom because this means that we can go for Shadow Ball freely, seeing that only has a Yurashi and Raichu left. And uh, this Shadow Ball should have killed him from this range. It should have killed him. It does not. It does not. It does not kill him. Which may be believe that, alright, it most likely is Assault Vested, so we at least are faster since we are Scarfed and that Yurashi out of the way. And having, of course, the Shadow on the top, having finally a win after four weeks of nothing under our belts. Elisa is gonna show her true power and get a delicious crit on the right shoe, who of course led the way for Guard of War to finally break through and uh, yeah, pretty much sweep from that range. Uh, or not really a sweep, two KOs can hardly a sweep, but yeah, we actually won! God damn it, it's been waiting so long for something like that to happen, so yes! For fuck's sake! Alright, so yeah, hey, we won! And, uh, you know, I have to give it to Shadow Shoot too, because obviously this was definitely not an easy game for him either. He, he played the first part of the game really, really, really well. He predicted me nicely. I think he did all the right calls. But then when things started to turn around was when I actually lose the monster was supposed to win me the match, but of course being Tyranitar. I think after that I started playing for... or not giving up, but I had my dedicated switch-ins for... It most dangerous mom, you know, for Tirashi, uh, Raichu, uh, Nel2, his uh, Scalipede. I could deal with those mons. Even though I lost my winning condition, I could still defend myself against the dangerous mon that he got. And I think in the end, I kind of collected myself good enough to actually take the victory. But I really felt that this was definitely anybody's game till that point. I kind of felt that in the end, too. Um, had his Yurashi been Scarf, I might actually have been a different outcome. But um, I'm glad it wasn't, and I'm glad I actually f somehow actually won this game. I I'm like not gonna lie even about that. I truly believe my opponent play a mighty game here, but it just wasn't meant to be in the end. And I'm glad that I, I kept my cold for once because I really needed this win much more than my opponent did. So yeah, hopefully we're not risking of actually getting knocked out this time. And next week going up against Eric. Ash and Akai, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. Definitely gonna do my best there. Thank you everyone for watching, of course, as always. Make sure to leave a like and stuff like that. One like equals one Pikachu Rise form. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.